Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana, also heavily requested and we are now at a tipping point again and I think the likelihood that we go down from here is getting higher. As you know, we talked about this 175 to 178 key support level. Actually, I think it's more towards the 178 um, and this is exactly where this red line is actually currently sitting because that is the previous wave one here that you can see there in yellow. And um, yeah, we are pretty much at this level. This level I've called out a few times now. And I did say very similar to Bitcoin where I said 53K is the key level. Below that I turned bearish. Also here 178 is for me the level here for Solana. And you can see how relevant this level is because for the last few days and actually weeks we've been trying to get below this level have failed so far. We also did hit the yellow target area that I showed you actually when we were up here in the wave five, I showed you that yellow target area did come into it. We actually went even slightly below it, which is actually not a good sign because all that these yellow target areas are, they are not something that I make up. They are actually ideal target levels um, as per the Elliott wave method. So what we would have expected here for a wave four retracement, oops, no, I didn't want to move that one for a this pink wave four down here, for that retracement, we would have ideally expected the price to get support in this area. Now it didn't, it did fall through, didn't invalidate the bullish pattern, um, not yet, that would happen below 178 US dollars. But you know, what did happen actually is that we have come below it and that we're hovering below this level now and find actually resistance at this yellow target box now. Um, and I told you that so far, um, this was looking quite strong here when we moved up to 240 and um, that looked more likely that we actually get into this other yellow target box up here, which is for that um, wave five, the ideal target level. So we had a wave, you can see in pink here, one, two, three, four, five, as you know, elite wave method, usually five waves um, to the upside or at least um, in the direction of the higher level trend. Um, and so, yeah, it looked like we were doing this one, two, three, four, five to the upside. Now, obviously, with the latest Bitcoin drop and us hovering below this yellow target level, at the moment, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows because it's pretty much 50-50 because we are at this tipping point. We are at this tipping point, but overall, the chart doesn't look great, yeah? So for me personally, I would say we now rather go down. That is my view because we don't seem to be pushing away anymore from this red line. We don't seem to be able to. and. Um, at $181, we are very, very close to that $178 US dollar level. Very, very close. So, you know, if $178 is broken, I expect a strong drop. Yeah, that's what I do. And um, at some point then to reach this target area here, which is lying between $130 and $55 US dollars. This is also where I, in this area, have set various buy orders for my um, purchases um, as limit orders on the exchange. That's where I would expect us to go down to. Um, next if we cannot hold 178 dollars and to be honest in the current environment um it is very difficult for a crypto to turn bullish right because bitcoin i think is going to go down that is my expectation as you know from uh, the bitcoin cardano videos um with the exception of medic for example medic is doing fairly well um but medic is also not very very close here to a key support level which would turn or which would invalidate a bullish um scenario so yeah, this is where we are here. We would really need to, the buyers or the bulls really need to push Solana higher. Otherwise we're going to struggle here and we're going to break down and we'll really see a big, big breakdown um, to the downside. That's what I expect. This is really the last support level here. And if we break it, yeah, we are, we are going to go down. So yeah, it is pretty much maybe up or down, but it doesn't matter. What you need to know and what we need to know is, um, that uh, there is this key level and below that we will see a big drop pretty much as we saw for bitcoin the 53k level if you see that breaking there was a or if, as we saw that breaking there was a big drop and also for bitcoin i told you it was that level and when it broke we saw a huge drop and that is important to know as an investor as a trader whatever uh, whatever you are that's important to know um if we can stay above this level then this level should be in reach that is then the next key level um that we will reach in a bullish scenario but if we break the level to the downside we are going to reach this level here which is also lying between two key fib levels here the 0.786 and the 0.5 fib level of that 
larger wave here. That's Solana at the moment, so key tipping point. Very interesting to watch the price, very interesting to watch the market. I am very interested in seeing what um, is going to happen here. No need to worry, no need to stress. You know, I'm not trading here day trading, but we have swing trades positioned. We have various buy positions and we have a sell position in here. So, you know, either way, it will be good because in here we will buy, make an informed buying decision. At least I will. You know, you can, you can follow me on there if you want. You can see the exact levels for my buy orders on Discord if you're a channel member. Um, or you just uh, set them anywhere you like, um, you know, whatever you choose. I, I can't tell you where to buy and where to sell. I only post my own buy and sell orders, but yeah, I lean back, I will watch them and I will make an informed buying decision in this area and an informed selling decision in this area. Either way, because I am already invested and um, if you've been following me on this channel, you will know that I bought along the way up here. And either way, I'm good because um, if we don't reach that area now, I'm sure we will reach it in the next move up. Then I'm just a little bit more patient and I will then profit. And if we go down, I will buy the dip, not anywhere, but exactly here in this area. Basically dollar cost averaging in, in this area. I think that is one of the best ways to make money in the crypto market. Um, hopefully you liked the update video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.